Mike Sports Vibes. Thank you for vibing with the bull. The whole NFC North lost in week two. The Vikings still got a chance. Get hype. I understand we zero and two right now. But let me break some things down to y'all. There's 15 games left. Everybody in our division lost. If we lose, I'm hoping that the Lions lose. If we lose, I'm hoping that the Packers lose. If we lose, I'm hoping that the Bears lose. That's how I feel. It's all, it's all fun at the end of the day, but it's competition. It's fun competition, and I'm a Viking fan, and we want y'all to lose if we lose. If we win, we want y'all to lose, but I don't want y'all to be too bad because... I don't want people saying that the only reason why the Vikings won a division because everybody in the division is terrible. I don't want that. I want some competition. Don't get me wrong. I want some competition. Let's go, though. So the Lions was talking all this trash, talking about, yeah, y'all lost against the Bucks. Y'all ain't no good. Y'all ain't going to win a division. What y'all got to say now? <laughs> 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 Which I got to say now, and best believe, Mike Sports Vibes, thank you for vibing with Make me. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button and hit that notification bell. You already know the vibes. I'm about to talk my talk. Talk that talk. You already know the vibes. So all the Lion fans was talking all this trash, right? And I love it. I love trash talk. I love it. But when's the last time the Lions won a division? <laughs> I'll give y'all five seconds to answer that question. When's the last time the Lions won the division? One, two, three, four, five. Your time is, is done. They never won the North division. The last time the Lions won a division title, 93. It wasn't until 1993, right? <laughs> and guess what the division was called? The NFC Central Division. That's the last time they won a division title. <laughs> but y'all want to come at the Vikings for losing against the Bucks, and the Bucks just beat the Bears. The Bucks are two one zero. But I'm gonna get to I'm gonna get to that a little bit later, because the Bears just got the brakes beat off of them. So the Seahawks. I'm, I keep trying to tell people Geno Smith is balling. Last season he was balling. This season he's balling. Geno Smith threw for over 300 yards, 328 yards to be exact. Two touchdowns. DK Metcalf had a pretty good game. Tyler Lockett had a great game. So the Seahawks lost to the Lions 37 to 31 in overtime. And I ain't gonna lie, Jared Goff had a he he was balling out in that fourth quarter. It got the 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 score to be tied 31 to 31. But when they gave it back to Geno Smith, you already know the vibes with that. Tyler Lockett got that touchdown. Ty Lockett had eight catches for 59 yards, 7.4 per carry, two touchdowns. It doesn't sound like it's, it's, it's great stats, but Tyler Lockett and Geno Smith had that, that chemistry. It is crazy. I was watching the house. I was like, oh, okay. He, he knows where he's going to be at at all times, and he throws him the ball a lot. So shout out to Geno Smith, man, for overcoming everything that uh, people were saying. People were doubting this man. He's, he's balling right now. So shout out to him, but I'm so happy that the Lions lost. Take that L. Take that L. Let's go. Let's go with um the second game that I wanted to talk about. The Buccaneers against the Bears. I don't care nothing for the Bears. The Bears beat the brakes off of them 27 to 17. Honestly, it wasn't even a beatdown. Justin Fields threw an interception near the goal line. Because it was 17 to 20, and there was two minutes left, and Justin Fields threw that interception. Come on, Justin Fields. What type of time is you on? What's up with the bull? What's up with you, bro? You throwing interceptions near the goal line? Come on, brother. You got to step your game up. I don't want you to be that bad. I don't want the Bears to be that bad. That was terrible. But Baker Mayfield had a pretty good game. What was his stats looking like? I know he threw for over, like, 300 and... What's exactly did he throw for? So Baker Mayfield threw for 317 yards, one touchdown. I'm going to tell you this right now. Mike Evans was unleashed against the Bears. It was terrible for the Bears. Six catches, right? Only six catches. Six for 171 yards. 
28.5 per catch. What was the Bears doing? You needed to have triple coverage on him, and he only had one touchdown, but it's just the fact that you had, he had 171 yards and six catches. Come on. Come on, Bears. I'm Imagine what Justin Jefferson is going to do to y'all. So take that L, Bears. Take that L. Let's go, Vikings, man. All the teams took an L week two. The division will be won by the mighty Minnesota Vikings at the end of the day. I Mark my words. But um, let's get to the final game. Falcons versus the Packers. Close game, y'all. Close game. The Falcons won 25 to 24 by a point. That was actually a good game, to be honest with you. Jordan Love. All right. I was impressed, but he needs to do more. He needs to pass the ball deep more. It was more of the dink and dunk type game plan. He needs to throw it deep a lot more. He had three touchdowns for 151 yards, which is good. No turnovers, but he has to throw it deep in order for his rushing game for his running back. A.J. Dillon had 15 carries for 55 yards, 3.7 per carry. How is he going to get any yards if you're just dinking and dunking all, all game? There's no, they're going to keep all, everybody in the box just to stop because they don't believe in Jordan Love right now. They don't believe in him. But I will say this. Uh, who who had the touchdown? Jaden Reed had two touchdowns, four catches for 37 yards. Dontavion Wicks, two catches for 40 yards, one touchdown. So, like, I'm telling you, it's just dink and dunk. I'm not really impressed with the Packers' offense overall, but they, they got a pretty good defense. We're going to see when we go against the uh, Packers. I'm actually curious of how we're going to play against them. But overall, I'm just so happy. Everybody, not that we took an L, but I'm happy everybody else took an L. Like I said, if we take an L, hopefully y'all take an L. No, don't lose every game because I want it to be competitive. I want this to be a competitive division, but I am so happy I did not. We're not Viking fans. Get hype. We have a chance to win this division. We have the chance to make a real run this year. We have Jordan Addison. We have Justin Jefferson. We have TJ Hawkinson. We have First Cousin. So, I just want to say, y'all, there is a chance we can absolutely beat the top teams in the NFL. We just have to correct this offensive line. We have to correct stopping the run. Because what the Eagles did to us when it comes to them running on us was, I ain't see that in a very long time. That was Adrian Peterson days. I haven't seen that. So, we correct that. Somehow, correct the turnovers. And all that, we will be fine, y'all. Do not give up on the season. It's 15 games left. Get your popcorn ready. It's a long season. We about to get these dub. We about to beat the breaks off of the Chargers. I'm not scared of the Chargers. Let's see what the Chargers got real quick before I end this video. I'm trying to, I ain't scared of the Chargers. I, I'm really not. The Chargers, they're 0-2 too. They lost to the Titans in um, overtime. And Justin Herbert, I'm not scared of him. He did throw for 305 yards, two touchdowns. I'm not scared of them. They don't have no run game. Keenan, Keenan Allen, is a, he's a dog. I ain't going to lie. Keenan Allen had eight catches for 111 yards, 3.9 per carry, two touchdowns. But I ain't scared of the church. They coming in our house. Let's go. They coming into Minnesota. We ain't taking no more L's at home. We ain't taking no more L's at home. Let's go Vikings, man. Let me know in the comments below. Can we get our first dub against the Chargers? We're going to take one game at a time and see what happens. You know the vibes. I had to talk my talk. Talk that talk. And I am excited for this season, y'all. And I hope y'all, I hope y'all excited too. Vibe with your bull. We going live after every single game. You already know the vibes. This is the end of the video. I truly appreciate you vibing with the bull. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. I'm out.